everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be sharing with you my favorite complexion products of 2023 and also my favorite bronzing slash contour products of 2023 um, i'm doing these in little segments uh, just so that the videos aren't so long and that you can actually kind of hone in on something that you might be interested in or looking for. I was pretty sick all of this week, so my voice is a little in and out, so please bear with me. And uh, yeah, so these, these last two favorite videos are going up a little later than I like, but uh, you know, that's showbiz, baby. Believe it or not, I branched out this year in complexion products, but with all of the concealers that I've tried, the Kosas Revealer Concealer is still number one, numero uno. It is still the best. It's still the best. I have, while I'll give a shout out to the Tower 28, um, and I have tried others after Black Friday that I am very, very impressed with, I still have to say that the Kosas is number one. There's currently one fighting for number one, but I still have yet to decide. But as of 2023, in December of 2023, Kosas Revealer Concealer is still number one, and I am wearing it on my face today. Along with the Kosas Revealer Concealer, I love the Givenchy Prism Libre. Lieb. Lieb. I'm trying to say it like it's because it's French. Lieb? Pris is it Prisme Lieb? Prism Lieb? Someone tell me. Someone who speaks French, tell me. Please. I beg you. Green color corrector. The skin carrying corrector. The green one. Love it. If you're not new here, then you already know. And if you are new here, hi. I love this. It's amazing. Uh, it's the most beautiful finish. It's hydrating. It's luminescent without being glittery. And these two together make such a beautiful complexion pairing and it's just so lightweight so light so it's so creamy it's so hydrating and I just love it I know I I think these two together make such a beautiful combination and um I got my tea <laughs> so this has been the year that I branched out and I tried foundation. So the first foundation I want to shout out is the Westman Atelier Vital Vital Skin Foundation Stick I have this in the shade uh, point, Atelier Point 0.5, so it's their only like neutral shade, and uh, I was hoping that this would be a little more um, like olive friendly, uh, but I do find that it is like slightly too light. It's not abhorrently too light, but it's an okay match for me, and so because of that, I do like to use this for more of an underpainting technique. Um, I do like to like apply my bronzer and blush and everything and then I apply it in just like parts around my face um, and blend it out because it is essentially kind of like a big concealer stick. Like that's what I'm finding but it is more emollient than like a typical stick slash potted concealer versus a liquid concealer. Um, and I found that the more I use this like a pinpointing type of concealer versus an all over the face foundation, the more I pick this up and like it. Um, yeah, so yeah, this is definitely something that I grabbed a lot in 2023, especially during the cooler months when I am more fair. Another foundation that is not new to the market, but I did try for the first time in 2023 is the KVD Vegan Beauty Good Apple Balm Foundation. I have this in the shade Light 008. This is for people who have fair to light skin with olive undertones and I'm wearing it on my face today with a Kosas Revealer Concealer and I think mm, it's I love this I love this I remember this got a lot of hype and it was super polarized for a really long time um, people either love this or hate it and so when I bought it I bought it uh, during a sale a while ago and so I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it but I from the way it was described I was like I might like that um, and I find that it's it's not as like drying. This is advertised as a matte foundation, but I don't find it matte at all. I find it like a satiny, natural skin-like finish. Um, and that's why I really like it. It's It allows me to have like a really nice kind of velvety base without it being matte or mattifying, but also not too dewy. So I can really pinpoint where I want my dewiness on my skin 
for certain types of looks because I don't want to be dewy everywhere all the time. Um, so you can either like make this more matte or you can make it more dewy and it wears beautifully on my skin type um, both ways. This product does have a lot of coverage and you don't, you barely even have to touch the product to really like take it there with coverage. Um, I really like to apply this with either a brush or a sponge. I think it's really, really beautiful. And I think it works really well for pinpointing um, like more coverage for blemishes and stuff. So if you were traveling and you just brought this, you wouldn't need to also bring a concealer. Um, but yeah, I am wearing it today along with the Kosas Revealer Concealer and I really, really love the combination. I think this is is a very like makeup artist oriented type of product. Like if I had a makeup kit, I would buy all the shades in this. Very polarized product, but I really, really enjoy this foundation. Third foundation that I tried this year um, is a liquid foundation and it is actually a new launch this year. It is the launch from Glossier and it's their skin, the stretch, stretch, stretch fluid foundation. <laughs> The stretch fluid foundation. I have this in the shade light three. This is also for people with light skin tones with olive undertones and I think this is the best like shade match ever. Like I because I tried the KVD one first and I was like this is the best like shade match for me ever and then I tried this one and I was like this might be the best shade match ever. In this lighting it kind of pulls a little yellow but this, uh, it's so like emollient and nice, but like the KVD, even though it doesn't have as much coverage as the KVD, it has like a medium buildable coverage. So you could really sheer it out or you could build it up in areas, but it goes on the skin in this like very thin veil of just like nourishing feeling wetness like it's just it's it's a very wet feeling but it does have like kind of a set down where it becomes one with the skin and it's not too dewy like your skin just looks like skin and it looks really healthy and perfected that's all I really want from a foundation is just to like give me that like really good base to make me look like I'm having a really good skin day and yeah I just I I've been really really loving this and there was you know a couple of months where this is the only complexion product that I used and yeah I just I'm I'm a really big fan the way the light is hitting this this looks so yellow but I swear this matches me <laughs> When 2023 started, I had like this idea of like what my definite favorites in bronzing were going to be and I kind of got really surprised because this was kind of my year of powder bronzers. Like I was under the impression that I was going to be just talking about the NARS Laguna Cream Bronzer, the Westman Atelier Contour Stick, and the Say Sun Melt. And while I still love those so much, like I think those are amazing products and I use them all the time, the ones that were new to me in 2023 that stuck out the most are these next three products. So the Tower 28 Cream Contour in the shade Getty. This is the Sculptino Contour in the shade Getty. And I think this is like such a beautiful neutral kind of like bronzing contour. This has just enough hint of warmth that it's not too like chiseling and cool um, on the face. And that's why I really like it. I'm wearing it today with a combination of a powder bronzer and I just think it's such a lovely color. It's such a wonderful formula. It's balmy but it's not like sticky and just like this thing that like slides around your face and then disappears in 15 minutes. It goes on in very light washes so you can build it up in a very controlled way. And yeah, that's why I love it. And it stays put, it, it's just very elegant, very easy. And it's just like the blushes in the formula. Um, I just, I can't get enough of it. And I love it so, so, so much. And I this has like blown all of the other cream products that I, like used and loved this year right out of the water. Like as soon as I tried this, it was like love at first application. Love this. This next product I bought during the Black Friday sale in 2022. So it's only right that I include it in this year's favorite video because I used it so much. This is the Victoria Beckham Bronzing Brick in the shade two. I think that this is one of the best powder bronzers on the market. I'm obsessed with it. It's just, 
so, so lovely. It's so good. I use it all the time and it just goes on in these elegant veils of color. So the Sculptino does the same thing, but only it's in a cream form. It really gives you control of the product's application and it just goes on so beautifully. I love this so much. I used it all year and I, when I was away from it, anytime I traveled, I missed it, you know? Next bronzer, also a powder. This is from Le Fien Rouge. This is the uh, Rouge makeup line by Jeanne Dumas. And this is the Le Powder Bon Mine. Oh, I love it. The only downside is that it only comes in this color. But given the fact that it only comes in one color, I think that it is a beautiful color that they created and they should make more. Just like the Victoria Beckham bronzing brick, this goes on in very beautiful veils of color. It doesn't get patchy, it doesn't skip, it goes over top of a dewy base, a matte base, a powdered base, you name it. It is and an amazing formula. Um, I would say it's like the bronzing brick, but just a little bit more pigmented. And the undertone of this is just so, so lovely. I'm wearing it today with the Sculptino, and I think they make a beautiful pair. Um, I love the packaging. The mirror is really, really high end. And yeah, I just, I think this is such an amazing bronzer. I, I can't put it down, honestly. I, I, I look to use this whenever I can. Oh, tea break. I feel like you already know, you know? I, I just, I gush about this constantly. I love the Gucci bronzer. It's so good. I have this in the shade too. Um, like the Victoria Beckham and like the Le Powder Bon Mine, it goes on in beautiful veils of color. This one is the most pigmented out of all three. So if you are a little heavy handed, you know, just be a little careful with this one. She will bronze you. She'll bronze you. And uh, yeah, I love the packaging. It's so gorgeous. It looks like a little music box. And yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how much to like gush and gush and gush because I feel like I've been gushing about this all year, but it's, it's a great bronzer. So if you're new here, this goes on in beautiful veils of color. It's uh, more pigmented than the other two that I talked about. And it doesn't have like this like flat matte type of bronzing effect. It's definitely luminous without glitter. Um, and I really like that. I really like things that give you like a sheen to the skin that make you look airbrushed and perfected. And yeah, this has been the year of powder bronzers. And I, I just, I, I honestly cannot get enough. I, I love these. I love these so much. Um, obviously because they're in my 2023 favorite videos, but, um, yeah, I just, oh, look at that. Look at, look at that. Ah, ah, it's an experience. You know, I'm after the experience, you know, the luxury packaging with the beautiful formula, you know, it's, it's, it's a whole different thing. Also, if you're into my nails, I did them myself this morning, but this time, instead of using the stamp by Maniology, uh, who so kindly gifted me their products earlier this month, um, I used the sticky base coat. So if you're ever perusing Maniology's website, you see the sticky base coat, this is something you can use your sticky base coat for. Here's the thing, do you have old eyeshadows that you don't wear anymore, but they're still really pretty and you just wanna like have a use for them? So put on the sticky base coat, wait like 30 seconds, and then you can sprinkle your old metallic eyeshadows on top of it. And you can put your like top coat on top of it to seal the deal. Mm -mm -mm. I did this kind of like serpentine, snaky kind of vibe today using some old green metallics. So yeah, um, that's with Maniology. I'll link everything down below. Thank you Maniology for gifting me your products and I thought I would show some variation on how you can use their products in creative ways. <laughs> okay, so that is it for this segment. I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any questions, please ask them down below. I am happy to answer them. And I'll see you in the next one for eye products and lip products. Bye!